Shake and bake. Shake and bake. I miss doing this. Fish orders are not the same without us. This place is not the same. I showed up and they were gone. As I left it. <laughs> didn't tell me anything. But let's get to it. We have a box over there waiting for us. How are the fish? I, good. Last week was, I think, a better one. Um, the weather kind of made it a little unfun. If anyone caught that part of the podcast or mm -hmm. Corey. Uh, but I knew you were coming, so... <laughs> So you order uh, something I good. tried to get the best I could on this list here. Okay. So. All right, let's do it. Yeah. So box number uno. So magic. Infamous rubber band. No, that was a fail. What magic does this box on hold? Bag one. Ooh, a discus. That's a good way to start it. Yeah, tiger kind turquoise. Of, yep. So, I can, right now we're not doing discus in the shop, but uh, we can do special orders for people if they are looking for some. Is that a special order? This is a special order. Okay. There's going to be food in here. Someone's trying to do a breeding project. Ooh, Nick's going to like flip. They say four. I feel like that's three. I want to say like size-wise, off my head, I want to say about nine inches. Uh, seems to be pretty peaceful. Um, they actually seem to they want to school. And Nick had took one home. I ordered for him the other day, and he's noticed some weird behavior. They were eating snails. What? So I don't know if that's in the literature or not, but he said it was going hard on like Mr. Snails. That is so, weird. So yeah, uh, all poor Mr. Snails. I'll see if we can try to get that on film or something. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't had one of these in the shop for a while. African butterfly fish. Really? They were these calling it always being. There. Yeah, and they were calling it something weird on the list, like. Like African butterfly tetra. But this is a butterfly fish, so if you want basically like a little pocket size arowana, this is the fish to get. Yep. Make sure you got a tight lid. I mean, they will jump. They where, look like they jump. I've had them jump where like your hang on the back filter kind of sits. So definitely try to get some saran wrap or like a little piece of plastic. Oh, so any kind of little opening? I think a sponge filter is going to be better for these guys. Okay. All right, what do we got here? Bolivian Rams. Super underrated cichlid. Yep. I think these color up nice once you give them the plant tank, planted tank. You guys can't keep German blue rams alive. Maybe try these ones. Yeah, give them some time. They will color up. Uh, it's kind of like what I call like the ugly duckling or like or what's the black goose. Or I can't remember that. Mm -hmm. Where <laughs> it gets better looking as Over it gets time. older. Yeah. <laughs> All right, some more stir by corridoras. I think I ordered twenty four off my head. Okay. Just try to always keep a bunch in the back, so I just always have them, so I never run out for you guys. Ooh, my favorite little pencil fish. Equus. Equus, yeah. So oh, it's weird. it has a little band so, vertically. Does it? Does yeah, it sometimes. Have a vertical band? Well, sometimes you get like uh, somebody else who's not quite the same species comes in these bags and some of these fish. I've seen that happen from time to time. Yeah, we, we've seen that. A lot of them are kind of ghosted out right now, but you could kind of see if you, you catch them at, in your home aquarium. If you turn the lights off for a few hours and turn it back on, they get ghostly white, but you'll notice that back fin is like cherry red. But yeah. they don't do that once the lights are on. It's kind of a weird thing. I'm not sure why they do that. Okay. Great fish to put in with your pistol grandmas. They won't compete for the food if you're trying to breed your pistol babies, according to Dean. Oh. All right, it's so another butterfly fish, number two of three. Well, you just spoiled it. There's <laughs> another one somewhere in there. Oh, great, that's boring. <laughs> All right, some bronze quarries. Super easy corridor. If you're looking to breed something, this is one to definitely check out. It's weird that they have the same name as the albino one, right? Because the albino one is this one. Yep. So uh, I knew that. I was just testing <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, so, but that's a good question. So a lot of people, or makes me uh, think of this. Uh, a lot of people like to mix their corridoras, you know, because here at my job is trying to make sure you go home with the proper schooling of fish. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, for example, want to mix say three cardinals and three neon tetras, they can not mix a school, but those are different species. So I always mm -hmm. tell people like they're different tribes. They might intermingle, but they're looking for their own kind at the end of the day. Same with corridors. You want to do, we always say at least three, if not more. Corridors like to be in groups. Um, so this would be a corridor you could mix in with the albino if you wanted a two different look corridor tank. Yeah. Uh, because they're the same species. You know, do you think it's a smell thing to have a, an odor? I gotta and imagine they there's gotta other, be a fair or? amount. My guess is it's a fair amount. Okay. I don't know what the, how much the eyesight and color picks up. Um, you know, because some fish like them, they look the same to us. I don't know how a fish would yeah. go, but I wonder if it is a bit of a fair amount going on. All right, these guys are really cool. The pie tetra. Yeah, also known as the crystal tetra. Yeah. Super cool. You can see the little uh, math symbol pie is the organ right there. I believe that it's is so the air, weird, dude. air bladder. 
have B roll of this guy, these guys. Because I did a video about these guys. Are super cool, and I find them to be pretty easy keeping. They look like you think, oh, it's a kind of skeleton looking fish. It's going to yeah. be delicate. Actually, not so. I found in my experience they do really well through quarantine and everything. Okay. So, great fish for like a little tannic tank. All right. That's the end of box number one. We're getting back into the flow. <laughs> On to the next. It's so weird in here, so quiet. Nice, let's go by that. <laughs> tape sound going in the background. Yep. Or what's that, uh, where you like sneak in someone like when they're about to take a photograph and you're like... Photobombing? Yeah, photobombing. <laughs> I don't want to get that going on. <laughs> let's see what we got here in box number two now. LDA 3. Uh, should be a Snowball Pleco. Real cool, I like those big old white spots right there. And I want to say with the Snowballs, if I recall correctly, they're uh, like the Gold Nuggets, there's various numbers out there too. Uh, but I want to say this is the Columbia. Okay. So. Bray Cox Rainbow. We're coming pretty small. Coming pretty small right now. Yep. Boys have the red. Ladies have that kind of orange yellow on their fins. Awesome fish. So like if you want to do uh, schooling fish with say something like a angelfish, that might be a little aggressive with smaller tetras. Definitely give these guys a whirl. I love the way they reflect in the sunlight. Yeah. All right, Juliana, so the false Julii Corridor. These always get mixed up with Lesturbis, but they're mm -hmm. totally different. Totally different. There's also gonna be a cooler water corridor too, so not the guy for like 80 degree tanks, probably wanna be about mid 70s for these guys. Okay. This is, I believe, a blue diamond. Huh, oh wow. That's a big one. That's a good size. Yeah. That's almost like an emerald green, you think? Yeah. Wow. Uh, oh, hi. Hi. Oh, I, uh... That's a landlord. <laughs> Deer in the headlights. All right, long fin, white clouds. I saw the ones next door. I was like, we don't get them in Ohio. What? So, like, wait. Like the long fin? It's like Ronald McDonald um, rooster tails. Yeah, <laughs> so I get to pick some fish and take them home. I have to fly with them and everything. And I'm trying to, you know, decide what I want to take home. And Great fish. Another top five. You never played with fish before. Yeah. Never looked at a fish before. Awesome fish. Super underrated. I was thinking of putting them with my goldfish. Yeah, I've done that, like, <laughs> with my uh, outdoor tote. Like, I, I got them out there. Yeah. Box number trace. I think my old Spanish teacher like lives down like a few houses for me. So oh, sometimes yeah. I bump, her, bump into her like, yeah, you taught me back in high school. <laughs> I think she didn't know about me until I had to come to her house. I'm like, your kids are on your roof right now. It's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Look in my world. All right. Lamp Achilles. The blue eyes. Yeah. Last batch came in last week. We're stunning. I tried to take a picture of it just to show. I didn't see them anywhere. Uh, well, someone bought them all oh, okay. yesterday. Oh, okay. Must have looked um, that good. Yeah, I don't know if your camera could pick it up, but like I couldn't pick up their blue eyes like on my camera. It just like wouldn't do them justice. Oh, okay, I'll try when we get them over there. And they get it kind of a nice like the males get like you can kind of see a little bit of that red fin, and they're longer like in the middle. But yeah, once they get under that light. Kind of start to see it just a little bit here in person, but uh, once they're in QT, they'll they'll look way better. Leopard tail guppies. So I feel like these have been kind of a popular guppy. Oh, I'm leopard catching guppies. Tail. Yeah, leopard tails. I saw some Japanese blue endlers over there. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, there's those blue golds. Yeah, local too. Yeah. yeah. Great one. Another one. Uh, did you see, check out those uh, Brazilian? Yep. Green. Yeah, those been those. Hot. Oh man, I'm, I'll get some B-roll for you guys gorgeous to watch. Fish. But it's really gorgeous. Auto sinkless. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Actually, awesome fish. I like these guys. They're in every I, tank. I still want to do a time lapse video of like that cleaning a up gnarly, all. Yeah. dirty tank, and like have like well, this is what three do. <laughs> yeah. All right, L134 Whoa, should be the leopard frog. frog. Great little they just skyrocketed overnight, man. I swear. Yeah. They used to be thirty-five dollars and overnight. I remember that. I still remember that. I should pick one up back yep. when I was a customer. <laughs> Sunset honey grammy. Great little grammy for any tank. Looking for that little centerpiece for like ten gallons. Perfect little fish there. Super peaceful. Got people breeding these. Um, one, they're pretty easy to sex, so 
kind of see some males there getting a lot of that color, that kind of goldish yellow front, and they get that orange kind of back end. Uh, the ladies don't have the orange in the back area, and they typically have they that pale, right? horizontal stripe. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the stripe yeah. right there. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look at that half moon candy. Wow. That's a money fish. That is a good looking fish. That is a unique looking better. Yeah. A half moon cane, that's a weird. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so we got another tie yeah. flag here. Do you have any bettas back home? Yeah, I've got one shit from Vietnam. Nice. And I got a bunch of aliens, of course. Nice, got marble. That's good, I like that. Yeah, I like so yeah. I, I like these looks. Marble like the and galaxy and marbles, ones, yeah. I like those. Cool looking. That's a good looking fish. Someone's gonna be happy taking that home. Why'd you put this one separate? I, I was thinking maybe put them over here. <laughs> you to keep them? Sit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Box number four. So what do you miss most from Washington Food. State? Food. And you, me. people, you always send me nice messages. Ooh, these are for me. Still Fino, ordering fish, huh, Robert? <laughs> I'm tr it's slowing down. I'm actually taking tanks now. I, uh, I'm basically gone down to like one African tank. Oh, okay. So I'm really liking the Malawis. At the end of the day. Tanzania. Yeah. So this is getting like a nice bluish. Uh, should get like a mottled color for the male. So blue and white. Cool little fish. Unfortunately, you can't get a sweet B-roll because it takes also like a year sometimes for these guys to build out. <laughs> oh, look at these shrimp. Bring out the Barbie. Giant blue wood shrimp. So these have been coming in really tiny, like little baby Yodas. That looks big, though. These are big. I got a size of them. Yeah. Finger for measurement. Wow. Great shrimp. I found them to be pretty easy in my experience. Uh, just unfortunately, they're going to go wherever the current is for food. So... Uh, cool shrimp, but you might not see them in your tank. Cardinal tetras, there's going to be a lot. So we got 50 of these guys. I can't get the wilds right now, so I've been only able to buy tank rays for the meantime. Nevertheless, coming in nice and big. Mm -hmm. Anything else uh -oh, left in there? Uh -oh, uh -oh, oh no, oh no, we're going to have to run this next door. Half moon candy. You have to run it for yourself. Let's do this, let's do this. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? I'm gonna look for a sweet tank here. We're thinking. Empty, 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 someone. Okay, let me move everything around. Let's do them right here. Sweet, bad setup. Do you love these? They're awesome, but. They're hard to take care of. Take cleaning. <laughs> cleaning. Cleaning. Instant gratification. All right. Oh, buddy got some water now. Oh, check out that devil tail red dragon. Oh, that's a weird one. Looks like a heart, though. All right. Come back to this later. All right. Multicolor. Oh, that's interesting. That's weird. Yeah. Come on, flip over. You got some pattern on the other side, buddy. All right. Is that it? That is it in this box. Are we on number more. five already? Uh, we're only on through four. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm a little concerned. The core of this box is pretty wet. Ah. Oh. Core is better than me on that. Yeah. Oh, no, that's why. Amber Tetras. Oh, Let's take good. that next door. Alright. That's why the thing is just full of water. We'll be right back, folks. Sorry, folks. Uh. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> but uh, looks like at least half of there are going to probably make it. So we'll evaluate that. Siamese Allergy Eaters. A must have for a lot of planted tanks. Great fish. 
Pisto Barella. So this is my favorite of the Pistos. A little bit cooler water yeah. tolerant. I like the fins on these they're guys. Not, yeah, they're not too aggressive in my opinion. We get a lot of females in lately, which is great if you're trying to breed them if I have the male for you. <laughs> Well, we don't sell them in pairs, right? You just sell them singly. I sell well. I mean, I order them singly. There's no guarantee on my pairs, so okay. it's just like it's a it's a gamble if it's coming in with the pairs. I always try to tell people like, oh, order me a pair. Like, well, I could order twelve. And they might be all boys. Yeah. <laughs> Amber tetras. <laughs> Happy no, little jewel colored fish, not a deflated bag. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it for this one. Amber is the color of your energy. Almost there. Home stretch. I can't remember that span. Siete? No, that's not. Uno, right. dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Seis. Siete, seis. seven. Seven. All right, some ornate oh. rainbow gobies. Some of my favorites. And these came in big. I bet you that's gonna look awesome once it gets in that tank underneath those stingray lights. Yeah, because of red fins. The male. Yep. Ah. Oh, we have no males on the, on the stiphanon species. The males are well, the more prettier ones. Females are kind of more grayish color. Pea puffers. Oh, my brother-in-law wants them. I got him into the tank world. Yeah. And now he's addicted. Little hate machines. We call these little Napoleons of the, of the puffers. Yeah. Don't, short man syndrome. Yeah, don't play well with a lot of fish. It's a question I get a lot every day. <laughs> So we recommend one, I think it was like one for every uh, five gallons and one for each. each. So first five gallons, one, and then every additional three gallons. Three so, gallons, yep. Yeah, you, you could do another one, so. All right, what do we got? Yeah, yeah. so what we call up here salt and pepper corridors. You said pier? Call up here. Oh call yeah, up here. because the habros or hostatus is also called. Yeah, so those are called like dainties, or we sell them as habrosis, so the rest of the nation calls them salt and peppers, but we said to be weird up here. <laughs> Blood Ooh. Fin, ooh, yeah, those came in nice. Look at that red. I have some of these at home. Blood Fin Tetras. Yeah, these look seriously cool in a tank. It's like a, like a little mini trout. That looks good. These look great growing up. I, yeah. I, I, they're disappointing when they're kind of small, but then they come in That big. size right there. That's, That's how I have a big mine That looks good. That's going to look good in anyone's fish tank. Mm -hmm. And we got the L18 Gold Nugget. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a little chunky They get so big though, so that's not yeah. comparably big to the <laughs> other ones. Good looking fish. That's the Pleco box. And oh, green neons. Man, I can't get these. So one thing, uh, green neons, keep in mind, they like heat. They really don't want to be below like 75 degrees. Okay. You know, where the neon tetra can kind of handle cooler water. Yeah. These guys like to be kind of toasty. Because I want that neon tetra look in a small tank. And yeah. these guys are perfect, but They're just, perfect. Like yeah. I said, I just can't get them. Maybe you go home with some this week. Good. I just set up another 15, so that's it. That's it for this one. Oh. One more. Last one. The Ocho. Wow, oh, look at super that. Super red and a tiny little bag. Let's go. Yeah, we got to fix this. Let's yeah, go. fix that. Oh, that's A testament of how strong these fish are. Yeah. Oh, it's just really close. I'm just hard to see. <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> Making a mess. Making a mess. So these are actually ones I really like. These the are red like, ones. Yeah, red. Red. Uh, Has a little white on it. Red blacot. In the, I, I ordered a female, and I like the myself, I, I, I like, three gallon over there. Yeah, and the females look almost equally as great as these. And we are now like the uh, go-to betta store around here. Around here, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Shut an eye puffer. Oh. Do you have one of these back there? No. They're expensive too over there. How, what is, what's the price over there? It's like two fifty. Dang. Over here's what? Like two hundred. I think I sell these for like two hundred. Okay. All right, last one. How to be noodles? Noodles. Some coolie loaches. Some udons. Some udons right there. Nice size on these. 
they look so cool in a bunch like that i love it like it's so cute i think on my instagram i have like a photo of like where it's like 50 or 60 of them just chilling on like a katapa leaf <laughs> with all their like heads kind of sticking out yep they're just so curious and they'll go anywhere loaches are kind of they're definitely all like kind of very clownish fish um awesome fish um popular with the kids popular with the adults yep so Is with that the, it? Yeah, so with these, definitely get three or, like I said, you know, get yourself 50. <laughs> <laughs> and they're very hardy. Yeah. Well, you want to get some fun? Let's go. All right, bud.